we're here this afternoon to find out who's the best fiddler in the South. For our first prize, we offer one gallon of sweet mash, doubled and twisted corn liquor, oh, made boy. by the best blockader in North Georgia. First on the program will be Gid Tanner playing Riding a Bucking Mule Through Cumberland Gap. All right, Gid, let's hear from you. Come on, Gid, you're going to get him. Get right, Gid, get right. Get right, boy, you're riding. Riding, right cowboy, riding. <laughs> Give me that food. Give me a drink, if you did. Get up the pole, you wish. Get me a drink, if you did. Get him on the hair side, Gid. Oh, boy. Get him on the <laughs> Hello, Riley. Hello. How you feeling this morning, Where old top? How are you? Say, listen, how about playing us a little number on the guitar? All Say, right. for instance, uh, that uh, A rag. That's All a mighty right, good number. Go. Let's have it. Just whip it right on down, Riley. You got it. Dragging that thing. Liquors. Let's hear from them now. Say, for instance, we play that uh, Alabama gal, Ain't She Coming Out Tonight. I've got a gal got one on a chin, and I've turned out in a cold sand, and she's a darn good gal. But the chance she's in, tell me it's coming out tonight. We'll finish the fiddler's convention on the other side. Well, guess we better turn the pig loose. Say, people, we're turning loose a 30-pound greased pig. And the fiddler that catches this pig gets him. Look out. There he comes over there. Grab him. Get in there. Get him, Gid. Get him in the nose, Gid. Hold him. Whoa, wait a minute. Gid got him. Gid got him. Hold him, Gid. Hold him, Gid. Say, hold him. Don't let him make too much fuss over there. Hold to him, Gid. How much will he weigh by weighing time, by hog killing time, Gid? Four hundred pounds. He's well fed. Four hundred pounds. Well, I guess I you feed him it. pretty good. All right, I guess we better go on with the fiddler's convention now. The next fiddler on the program will be Bert Lane, playing Hell Broke Loose in Georgia. You can do that. Boys, bring it in. He's raising hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, Dirk. I believe you'll get the liquor. All right, the next on the program is Clayton McMitchin playing Old Hen Chicago. Mac says he's going to bring the Rhode Island Reds in there. Going to bring in the game, bring in the little Bantam, and have the old Primathock cackle a little bit for us. All right, Mac, let's hear from you. pretty late in the evening. Say, who won that liquor now? Here, you get it, Mac. Go ahead and take it. Well, let me give old Fate Norris a drink of it. He's a pretty good fellow. Now, Fate, now don't take talking. a bath in it. Please. We haven't got long to dance, and it's Saturday night, you know, and we better start to dance pretty quick, as we can't dance on Sunday. So we'll have the skillet liquors to furnish the music, play 
Vile them cabbage down. Ezra Hawkins will do the calling. Oh, that's the Well, folks, here we are again for another Fiddler's Convention. We've got the best fiddlers in the country here to try and get the prize. At our last convention, Clayton McMeachin won the gallon of double and twisted corn liquor, but he said he didn't have quite enough to go around. So this time we're offering 10 gallons of charred liquor, keg and all, to the winner. Gee whiz, Stoke, give me that big hunk of rolling for a 10 gallon of charred liquor. I'd tear every string off of this old fish. Where may till I get through, will you? Ladies and gentlemen, the first on the program will be Fruit Jar Low Stokes. We call him Fruit Jar because all of you can see the dent in his nose made from drinking liquor out of a fruit jar. What are you going to play for him, Low? Well, uh, I'm going to play that air, Hair Lip Susie. All right, let's go. <laughs> Next on the program, ladies and gentlemen, is Gid Tanner, that high-stepping, fiddling fun maker from Dakula, Georgia. Oh, by the way, Gid, what did you do to that pig you won at our last convention? Better feed him so much steel slop till he's bigger than you and big enough to kill now. Well, what are you going to play for the folks, Gid? Roll them on the ground. Let's roll them. Well, for a change, folks, we're going to get Bert Lane and his Arkansas Swamp Rooters out, and they'll give you a real good breakdown. And Ezra, sing a little bit for the folks. Sure. I've lived in 16 days, all I ever Next fiddler on the program, ladies and gentlemen, will be Bob Nichols. What are you going to play for him, Bob? I'm going to play the fiddle. Well, play something you think the people will like. All right. Somebody throw a guy out there. Good guy. I'm trying to play a fire up here. Throw him out Hey, fellas, hey, hold on. What seems to be the matter here? Oh, he's trying to play that old violinist music up here in a fiddler's convention. He can't do that. Well, I'm terribly sorry, Bob, but I'll have to rule you out because we can't have anything but old-time fiddling in a convention. Okay. While we're getting another fiddler out, we'll have Mac Meachin and his wildcat band give you a number. What'll it be, Mac? I don't love nobody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have our good old friend Riley Puckett who will give you a number. Riley, what are you going to do for the folks? Bully of the town. All right, let's go. <laughs> next fiddler we have with us tonight is Bert Lane from Arkansas. What are you going to do for the folks, Bert? I'm going to play the Ozark Mountain Breakdown. Last but not least is the boy that's caused more fiddlers to sit up all night practicing than any other two men in the country. The boy that makes a fiddle cry for mercy, none other than our good old friend Clayton McMeachin, champion fiddler of all time, 
who's going to try and keep this old cup he's held so long it's getting rusty. Mac, what are you going to play for the folks? I'm going to play the devil's dream. Let them have it. <laughs> We got a mighty good string band here. Riley Puckett and his South Georgia Sand Sifters. How'd you like to hear them play and Riley sing a little? Well, Riley, it looks like they want you to do a little something for them. What are you going to do? Sweet bunch of daisies. I've sure got a hard proposition on my hands. The judges have decided that Bert Lane, Low Stokes, and Clayton McMeachin are in a tie for the prize. They've got this contest tied up in so many knots that it'd take ten sailors to get it untied. And as I've never been anywhere but on the farm plowing a bull, I'm going to give them the ten gallons of liquor to divide among themselves. Here you are, fellas. All thanks right, thanks lot. very much, Judge. Hey, boys, here's plenty of liquor for all of us, so... Well, drink her up, and I'm going to have that keg to put me a barrel of crowd up in. No, sir, you ain't going to use that keg for no crowd keg. We're going to make a thumper keg out of that. 